Brexit Secretary Stephen Barclay defended Prime Minister Boris Johnson against allegations of being absent during the Middle East crisis. Iran struck back at the United States for killing a top Revolutionary Guard commander, firing ballistic missiles at two military bases in Iraq that house American troops. Speaking on the actions of the Prime Minister, Mr. Barclay said, The Prime Minister has been engaging, he has been speaking on a regular basis with world leaders, he is continuing to do that today, as are my colleagues across government. On whether Britain would join America if President Donald Trump looks to retaliate, he added, I'm not getting into speculation about the next steps. U.S. bases in Iraq hit by missiles as Iran strikes back after killing of General. Boris Johnson will face MPs in the Commons later for his first Prime Minister's question since the general election, following criticism from Labour about his lack of public comments on the crisis. The PM came under fire for his failure to address the Commons on the Iran situation on Tuesday, with Jeremy Corbyn accusing him of hiding behind Defence Secretary Ben Wallace. In a Sky News interview, Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn criticised Boris Johnson for failing to address MPs and added, he is the Prime Minister of this country, he has to be held to account for what his government says and does, he has to be held to account for his own actions by coming to our Parliament to answer questions. British Forces in the Middle East, PA Graphics Jeremy Corbyn also condemned Jen Solimany's killing in an interview with Sky News. He said, to assassinate an official of a foreign government in a third country, in this case Iraq, is illegal under any law and the US, if it wants the world to stand by international law, must stand by international law itself. This is a provocative act which has made the whole world a much more dangerous place. Mr. Corbyn was repeatedly asked whether he would label the targeted general as a terrorist. He replied, So Limani is the head of special forces of Iran, they obviously operate in all kinds of places that you and I would not agree with or want. That is not the point. The point is it's an illegal act that took place and if we want to end illegal acts by anybody, you don't commit them yourself. The UK has urged Iran not to carry out further reckless and dangerous attacks after Tehran fired missiles at military bases in Iraq hosting British and US troops. The Foreign Secretary calls for urgent de-escalation following an attack on Iraqi military bases https colon slash slash t dot go slash pvp orgs. Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab urged Iran to pursue urgent de-escalation as the crisis in the Gulf intensified. Mr. Raab said a war in the Middle East would only benefit the so-called Islamic State. Also for more on this story, visit the news article link.